Hey everyone, Donna Rios here, and I just wanted to do a little, well, a training for you today on how to create a custom opt-in form for my Facebook page using AWeber. And like right here, well anyways, let me go here real quick. This is my timeline, of course. And see where I have your state connected? Well, this is a tab that I that I installed and when I click on it now, it's going to pull up and this is my opt-in form that I created in AWeber and it automatically populated to my Facebook page. So, you know, I can put anything I want, any text I want here, but you can see they can put their name and their email address and sign up now. I can have it associated to any list and any any web form I want through AWeber. So that's what we're going to kind of talk a little bit about today. So first thing we have to do is go to AWeber. So once I log into my um, my account, I can, well, the first thing I wanted to show you was, well, as you can see, you know, like right now I'm just, I'm in, I'm under sign up forms. And the thing that I want to show you is right here where it says start collecting subscribers with Facebook. And when you click on that, it brings you to, you know, a way to integrate, in, blah, 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 integrate Facebook with AWeber so that you, so it will, it'll populate and create a tab and then you can create the web form to go right there. So anyways, you would just click on that and then follow the steps. So now, right now, I'm creating my web form. So I'm picking the the list that I want my web form to be on, and I'm picking up sign up forms. And now I already created this, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, just click on it and just show you kind of what I did. So once this populates, the I'm going back here to my Facebook page. I use this cool little program. It's called Jing. And what I use Jing for is when I click on it and open it up, I was able to get at least some kind of idea on what size I wanted my form to be. Now, I actually created my form in AWeber to be like 700 pixels wide, but you can see through, um, through using Jing, that you know this is the white part is showing that it's 690 pixels wide but of course Facebook is not having it go that wide so I guess it would be better to make it larger and then let Facebook shrink it down to the size it needs it but that but the worst thing I think you could do and then you would just have to redo it over is having a form too small and people can't read it so I much rather go larger so anyway so I click when I went over here the first thing I did is when I pull up my form, I change the width. And you can do this at any any way that you want. But uh, um, like all I did was just, you know, once I backspace it, just type in what I want and then hit enter. And it automatically populates to that size. And then I just clicked on my edit, my header, and I put in the text that I wanted. I made it pretty large because I want my, you know, I want it to stand out. I want it to grab people's attention. And so I went ahead and made it large. I customized it in any way, shape, or form, you know, that I wanted to. And then I just click Save. Now, here, as you can see, it's, when you click on this little down arrow, you can do the header, you can do the inputs, you can do the Submit button, all those. Well, right now we're on the header. And right here is where your background is, so you would just click on the the little color thing and choose the background that you want you can click OK and then you can also go back you know back to the header make sure your font color is over here you can select what color font that you want and then once you get it all right then click Save and as you can see it automatically populates here so now let's move down the form a little bit so now I want the I want these to to kind of stand out a little. If I just click edit, all that's going to do is allow me to rename it anything that I want. So I really don't want to do that because I want to keep it where it says name and email because I like to talk to people and I like to talk to, you know, I like to address them by their name. So I always like to keep the name. Some people just grab their email address. That's fine. That's totally up to you. 
that's a personal preference. But right up here, I believe it's labels. Yes. And anyway, so you can see how it, you know you can just click on these and they kind of move your little labels on, you know, you can move your things. I like them just that way, but I wanted to put these in a different color, so I just click on the color. I could do any color I want. I can bold them. You know, so it, this is just a pretty self-explanatory. The main thing that I wanted to show you, though, is I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click Submit button. When I click Submit button, this specific form, because web form that I wanted to create, I didn't want a templated um, one that Aweber already had, because even though it's, um, you know, they're great, you, there's always something that you can't customize in it, and I don't like that. I guess I just, I like to have total control, you know, over everything. So, this was just a blank template, and I added everything on it, and I added the size, I did all that. So, but the thing that I wanted to show you, like the submit button, was just a plain submit button. There was nothing fancy about it. I could not change the color on it. I couldn't do anything. But look, if I click this little advanced option, what this does is, say you, you know, you can go on Google and you can find submit buttons or, um, you know, sign up now buttons or get in now, whatever you want to call it and look at some of the images, you can find any kind of image already created for you to use on your sign-up forms. So that's basically all that I did. I found one that I liked. This sign-up now, you know, it's just kind of, it's in your face, but at the same time, it, it gives them a call to action to do. And so what I did is all I did was, you know, right click and save it to my computer and then the only thing that I had to do was I had to upload it onto my website so that I could grab the URL for it that was the only thing that might be a little different for you but if you have a WordPress website you can just upload it to your media and then just click on the image and get the URL for that image and then once you do that I just highlighted it and copied it and copied the URL right here of the image that I had. And once I did that, then when I hit enter, my image is automatically saved there. So now what I'm doing is then I just save my form and now I don't need to install anything. So I'm coming back to Facebook. And once I re refresh my screen, Facebook is going to have in my apps, when I go to um, settings and I go to apps, and you're going to see Aweber email addresses here, or email marketing is here. And so then I can either go to the app where it's going to bring this and it's going to say, you know, installation, blah, 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 you know, and add the app to the page. So I can add even more apps if I wanted to, or I can say edit settings. And this is where I can name it anything that I want. And I click OK. And then once I come back to my page, my stay connected is there. When I click on it, it's going to want me to configure it, and it's going to ask me to pick my list name. And then from the list, it's going to ask me to pick my web form name. And once I do that and I click Refresh, it is populated here. So now anyone that signs up here on Facebook, um, it's going to automatically, they're going to automatically be signed up for the list that I created you know, and it's called my training room, so they're going to be automatically selected, or automatically put in the list that I created, and then they're going to be added to my, you know, my, subscri my subscribers through Aweber. So I just thought that was a pretty cool little, um, a nifty little gadget, you know, that we can use to, you know, just another way that you have to be able to connect with your with people to um, give them a way that they can sign up or they can stay connected 
or they can um, join your opt-in list to be able to stay connected for you to be able to do email marketing with. So I hope that that was informational. I hope it didn't confuse you or uh, cause you to, you know, wonder what in the heck I'm talking about. But uh, um, if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, message me or email me or call me or whatever. You know, because I'm here to help you. So get in contact with me in some way. Message me on Facebook, whatever. And I can either, you know, I can either create another video for you to totally explain it to you. I'll get on a hangout with you, something, so that you are not left in the dark on how to be able to connect and collect um, email subscribers through your Facebook page. So y'all take a you all have a great day. Take it easy and we will talk to you again next time. Thank you.